Hi, I'm Trevor Johnston. I'm the Manager of Construction Technology at XL Construction. And today we're going to be talking about Procore's new tool called Procore BIM, which is a mobile model viewer. The reactions that we've gotten from people seeing this for the first time are just incredible. Usually people don't believe it at first, that it isn't a real product. And that comes because really this market's been needing something like this for so many years now. There hasn't been any good options and there's been lots of failed attempts. So really when people see this for the first time, minds blown. They really had no idea that this could exist. Now with Procore BIM, we can get this in the hands of anybody we want. Everybody we have on the team is already in Procore and everybody can access the model. So when you fire up your Procore app and just right off the bat, you'll notice that it's integrated beautifully within all your other tiles. It's just right there. You can be working on a daily log, see some kind of an issue that you want to bring up or check or maybe verify from the model. And you just look down, it's right there within all your other tiles. First thing you do is we've got all your tiles open. You just simply click on your models tab. In this case, I've got six different models. I've got one per floor on this. Don't need any kind of cellular service. You don't need Wi-Fi, anything like that. You can just have the model open at any time. And it's gonna bring you to your home view. Home view is set from the Navis model when we go to push this to Procore. And Procore's got this great integration into the, the Navisworks model, and it kind of guides you through and walks you through how to set up your Procore BIM model. For me, I like setting an ISO view, 3D, kind of scaled out a little way, so you kind of get a good overall feel of the project, and you can see really what the, the scope of it is. One of the beautiful aspects of this app is that it's got a 2D plan view right up in the corner. And anytime you can click on that 2D plan view, it's gonna bring you up the 2D version of your model, and really it's just a PDF that we've already pulled from Procore. You can put as many PDFs as you want in there, but it's simple. You just move that PDF around to where you want to be in the model. You hold your finger, you point the direction you want to be looking, and when you let go, boom, it puts you right inside the model facing that direction. Right off the bat, what everybody seems to notice is the ease of use of this. You've got a couple different joysticks that you can use with your thumbs. You can simply walk back and forth. You can look around, left, right, up, down, whatever, and then you can physically move yourself up. Right off the bat, it always wants to bring you at floor level. But if you're wanting to get in and look at the coordinated trades above the ceiling space, you can simply just move your whole body up into that viewing area above your ceiling tile. But one of the other nice integrated aspects of this is with the gyroscope, you can simply push the button and then you can look around with the iPad and that does all the movement for you. It really brings in a lot of the traits from Navisworks, so you can actually custom tailor the view you're looking at. If you go up here, you've got a few things off to the side. One of them is objects, and really that's your model tree that's brought in right from Navis. It's got a list of all your files that have built that model for you. It also has the objects inside of those files. So really you can control your view a lot more by really kind of drumming down and turning off certain features or aspects. So you really can control your visibility of what you're looking at at any specific time. You know, one of the first things we've seen right off the bat is superintendents are blown away that they finally have the power to fly around in a model and see kind of what was designed for their space. So now we've kind of put the power back in their hands. They can walk out on the site, which they're always on the site anyway, and if something catches their eye, they can easily fire up the model, take a look and get a better idea of what was intended for that area, what the design teams really worked on, what everybody coordinated to, to make fit and happen in that space. As far as hardware goes, you don't need anything special. That's the beauty of it. It can run on old models of the iPad, it can run on new. You just need your mobile device and the ability to have access to Procore.